The experience, like, moving away from home so young, I feel like it's the best for me. Like, it prepares me for the long run, but I still miss home. Like, everybody miss home. Well, I feel like it's just for the better. I'm from Queens, New York, Jamaica, Queens, just out of the city. I ended up coming to IMG all the way from Queens because I had one day, like, we was in quarantine, and then me and, like, my mentor, we was talking about, like, about high school, like, where I'm trying to go. In New York, there was not going to be a season. My mentor had did um, an interview with one of the coaches at IMG, and then she had, like, sent them clips of me. He liked my, like, type of play. So he wanted me to um, come for a visit, and then just went on from there. Freshman being here at IMG Academy and being a part of the national team, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a unique experience for them. New environment, new structure, new habits to be built. Coming out of middle school, I was like the guy, and I'll come in here like, this guy's ahead of me. He may not be playing right now, because he, he may have other people that's, that's older, that's stronger, that have more experience, more exposure. So what he's been doing, how he's been preparing himself right now, is like, it's, it's gonna show whenever that time comes. Being on the national team as a freshman was definitely a learning experience. Learning a lot from the seniors, even the juniors for real, um, during practice, throughout the games. At the time, I didn't really think much of it, but looking back, it was a really big task I had on my hands being a freshman. I feel like skill-wise, I wasn't all the way there, but I feel like physically and even mentally, like my freshman year, I feel like I was above the other freshmen in my class. One of the things I've, I've always said is like experience and exposure. I'll use a guy like Jarris Walker, the things that he have experienced and the things that he's been exposed to since his freshman year, you know, those older guys have been through that process before, especially the IMG process. It's definitely tough, especially for Ant being so young and coming from a place kind of like me where he was like always the best player. So it was definitely humbling as well too, but he just had to um, keep that work ethic high. When you see a guy's like Jarris Walker, it's like, okay, he's a junior right now. And it's like some of the things that he may be doing now, whether if it's like the habits that he have, whether if it's on or off. I look at Anthony as a freshman, I say, okay, he's from the bench or from the back looking. But it's like, this not gonna be forever. That's the pressure in his own self. So you kind of forced to kind of keep up and want to work on your game because you don't want to get left behind. When I first got here, like some of the things I was never doing before, when I came here, like, it just changed. Like, things like, wow, like, I could really do this stuff. I mean, as far as for Anthony, what I said earlier, like, experience and exposure. This experience and what Anthony is, is going to get exposed to, being a part of the Geico, he's going to see the preparation. He's going to see, again, the high level competition. So he get a chance to get exposed to see all of that. And then in return, that could motivate him to, like, Again, when it's his turn, like this summer, when we get back, I'm pretty sure a guy like himself, he's coming back and working, you know, because again, now nah, he want to be the one with the ball in his hands, playing in Geico, you know, having an impact on the game as well as a sophomore because of what he was exposed to.